M0 FXB Radtail 8A2 or the iRadio UV98. Someone asked me, how do I do this? So if I hold down the one, ta-da, we've got the scope. They're saying, well, how did you do that? Because when they press their one, it doesn't do that. Well, you've got to remember that this radio, you can program every button to do something. So all you do is press menu, go down one with the down arrow, key definition and then press menu the green button and you can choose to do multi ptt if you select that all the three side buttons become ptt's or you've got side keys okay which is the the bottom two buttons but if you keep going i i go to until you see zero and then one look select and now you've got a long list okay um, but number 17 on that list is Spectrum. But yeah, you can get all these shortcuts. And I use them a lot. Anyway, back to 17. Select and then go like so. And you've got the Spectrum, okay? Hold down. And the Spectrum is working. Wrong one. Press, press the wrong button then, did I? The Spectrum is working. Hold down the one. Um... At, on the first antenna this one here okay this is only received this uses the radio mode I'll show you that in a sec but this one will receive and the first antenna receives and transmits the middle antenna is basically a radio receiver and that's what we're using for HF so if we and um, just while you're in spectrum if you hold down the hash you can go to scanning mode hold again monitor mode so with the monitor you can actually hear but you need to connect an antenna if you back out the other question is they're saying look well how are you able on the a band so if you use this button here move the arrow up and down so we go on the a band and then we go to vfo mode frequency mode they call it zone mode, zone mode which is basically memory mode with in zones groups of channels Frequency mode is when you can actually type a frequency. So we stay there and we go 027. It won't let me type it in. That's the standard way because it says it here that you're in a working range. But with the latest firmware and it's gone right up to 110 now, turn off, hold down, turn on, hold down the down arrow, keep your finger on. It says full band mode. And now, 027, now we can do it. And it will transmit in FM, but only receive in AM. You know, so just remember that. You can't transmit in AM. You cannot transmit SSB. It never, ever will. To With the radio mode, as the as which and I'm talking HF bands, short waves, or 2 to 30 megahertz. Uh, so if we press the bottom button, it does start radio mode. Okay, now, and you can create channels, turn it down, or you can press the star, move, you're, you're choosing from this list, okay? So at the moment, I'm choosing a memory channel that I have preset, and you can preset this using the radio, or just the radio, or you can use software, okay? Now, I've, um, there it goes, to 10 meters, and... There's 40 meters. Of course, you need an antenna in the middle, and you're never, ever going to transmit SSB. It says here LSB, so you can change that, USB, CW. Uh, but it won't transmit, okay? It will just take you back to your normal screen, as you saw. So that's it. So you, you will need to add the latest firmware, firmware above 1.06, I would say, maybe 105. To be able to do that but the function but programming and the function buttons you don't need to um even you know when we talk about the radio mode that's where that's the same if you program the button radio fm radio it uses the same chip um to to listen to say bbc fantastic radio anyone that says this radio is not amazing value uh, the amount of people i've heard try and slate these radios but <laughs> You got no chance. This thing for the price. You got to remember the price is fantastic. Bye for now.